Yet another high school football team decided that it would be a fun little thing to do to have a mock slave auction. That is still happening. This particular football team is the River Valley High School in Yuba City, California. They shared a video where team members appeared to act out a slave auction with black teammates. District administrators haven't answered any questions about how many students were involved with this, but they are aware of the video. The team members involved in the video have been kicked off the team for the remainder of the season for violating the student athlete code of conduct. And that left the football team without enough players to compete for the rest of the 2022 campaign, which <laughs> makes it sound like it wasn't just one or two people if it sidelined your whole team. Anyway, they said that the situation was disgraceful and that uh, reenacting a slave sale as a prank tells us that we have a great deal of work to do with our students so that they can distinguish between intent and impact. I guess that's one way to talk about it. They seem to be acknowledging that the kids thought they were being funny. I guess why they <laughs> thought that would be funny, I don't understand. Uh, but Waz, as a lover of sports, could you please explain this to me? I played, I happened to play high school football at a school that was predominantly white. And so our team was predominantly white. Um, and you know, you might hear the off color joke here or there related to black people or Irish people or Polish people or Italian people. But at no point did anybody suggest that we have a slave auction. That just that just seems to be on the pill. Which, by the way, and I do want to say this to the audience, I am somebody who I'm wary and I kind of roll my eyes when, you know, members of the black elite or some guy in some nice job, some SVP somewhere is invoking the, you know, the the passed down scars of slavery. It's like, bro, ain't never nobody ever lash you. You got a great freaking job. Your kids go to great schools. Like, I think you kind of overdoing it with this I feel the pain of slave stuff. Like, I truly believe that and roll my eyes at certain black elite people. Who live great lives and you know they invoke slavery whenever it suits them to keep their lives cushy. I understand that, right? Like they invoke mm -hmm. the legacy of slavery when it's like, yo, we need more black CEOs on the on the board of Goldman while never addressing people in like Mississippi who have horrific lives. And um, it has nothing to do with that. Like I'm somebody who's very wary of this rhetoric from certain kinds of black people about like, you know, hitting the feigning couch anytime slavery is invoked or anywhere, anytime. Like I'm I'm annoyed by that. This is ridiculous. This is beyond <laughs> the pale. Okay, this we is can agree. like, yo, you need to sit your dumbass kids down and really talk to them about how out of pocket they are. This is craziness, right? And, yeah. and I get it that high school age people are the dumbest and most obnoxious people on the planet, particularly <laughs> the male population. I get it. Like this boys will be boys crap. I get it. But this is like, this is way past. Any stupidity that we might have taken part in, any of the dumb stuff that we thought was funny or cool when we were in high school, this is just way past that. Yeah, I, I would hope. And look, I, I've been doing this stuff for long enough. Like, can we just, it's, uh, can we just not have this exact same thing again? Every, every single year, there's multiple yeah. slave auctions that are, every single year for homecoming, some, Dumbass white guy with a crew cut is gonna be posing next to a white girl with a sign where he's asking her to homecoming that says something about picking cotton and him picking her. Like, can we not do these? <laughs> like, I'm not saying like racism's gone. We live in America. That's probably never yeah. gonna happen because we're the worst. But can we not do the same exact cliched racist stuff over and over and over and over again? Can you innovate at least? But we're yeah. gonna have another story like this. Another team is gonna do this or another frat is gonna do this or whatever. We're never gonna learn and things are only gonna get worse. Yeah, and by the way, the black kids who participated in this, cuz I think they deserve a certain special level of ridicule here for going with this and being such suckers. Like, I understand that they feel liberated from the idea that they are some kind of slave. Cuz let's be clear, they're not. Right, their yeah. lives have nothing in common with people, black people in the South in 1846. Like they are not slaves, and I appreciate their feeling of like I feel liberated from this discourse. I'm not a slave. I can laugh about it. It's over. Like I understand yeah. that, but these young people need some goddamn perspective. 
and, and somebody needs to give it to them because it's like it's great that you feel that way. But you got to have some deference and some respect for the history and the legacy of this country yeah. um, that doesn't involve making a mockery of stuff. You know, I agree. I agree. Um, and hopefully, if we can, if we can move past this topic, then we can like like spend time to look into the more important question, like how many of these football players identify as cats. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.